Imagine if Google just handed you a cheat sheet that said, here is how to rank number one in your city. Yeah, that's not happening. But here is the next best thing, snoop on your competitors. That's right, digital espionage, but totally legal. In marketing, that's what they call reverse engineering, which is just a fancy way of saying, see what's working for them, then do it better. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to break it all down step by step. First, I'll help you spot who your real online competitors are. And trust me, most people guess this wrong. Then we'll dive into how to spy on each type of competitors. And finally, I'll show you how to beat them at their own game so Google picks you instead. All right, before we get into full on spy mode and start snooping on your competitors, you gotta know who they actually are. Whenever I start working with a new client, I always ask, who do you think your competitors are? And nine times out of 10, they'll point to the business down the street. But here's the thing, that business might not even exist online. Meanwhile, someone they've never heard of is sitting pretty at the top of Google, getting all the local clicks and customers. So if you want to play this game right, you need to know who you're really up against. Now, yeah, you could use fancy SEO tools like SEMrush or Ahrefs, and don't get me wrong, they're great, but it can be expensive and kind of overwhelming if you're just getting started. Instead, here's a super simple and free way to do it. Open up an incognito window in your browser, head to Google and search for the keywords you want to rank for in your city. Stuff like roofing company in Austin or best hair salon San Diego, whatever fits your business. Then just start scrolling through the results. You'll usually spot what's called a map pack, that little box with a map and three local business listings underneath it. If your keyword triggers that, you're in luck, it means Google sees it as a local search, and that's exactly the kind of keyword you want to target. You'll also see some of your actual competitors' websites in the results, plus directories like Yelp, maybe even industry-specific ones like Ooze, Avo, or TripAdvisor, depending on what you do. And here's the thing, every one of those results is fighting for your customer's attention, whether it's the map pack, your competitors' websites, all those directory sites. They're all trying to grab that click before you do. Now that you've figured out who's showing up, your next move is to see how you can either outrank them or at least show up in some of those directories. That way, no matter where people look, they've got a shot at finding you. Let's kick things off with the easiest win. Back in the day, I'm talking early internet days, the big move was to get your business listed on every directory you could find. Yelp, Nextdoor, the online yellow pages, you name it. It was basically the digital version of that old school phone book they used to dump on your doorstep. Shout out if you remember flipping through one of those. The logic was simple. The more places you showed up, the more chances people had to find you. Easy win. But things have changed. These days, being listed in hundreds of random directories, total waste of time. Google doesn't care and neither do your customers. However, some directories still matter. And here's the trick. If a directory shows up on the first page of Google when you search for one of your local keywords, that means Google still sees it as valuable. So you want to be in those. Why? Because if someone clicks on that Yelp or that niche directory ranking on page one and you're not listed there, that's a missed opportunity. Even worse, if your competitor is listed and you're not. But just being listed isn't enough. You've got to aim for the top spots in those directories because that's where the clicks and the leads actually happen. And usually the secret to climbing those ranks? Reviews. So if you've been focusing only on Google reviews, it's time to spread the love. Start asking your happy customers to leave a review on those other platforms too. Yelp, check a trade, wherever your industry shows up it all adds up. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sounds like a lot of work for not a whole lot of payoff, right? But here's the thing. Tools like ChatGPT are using those same directories to show local results. Since ChatGPT can't pull data directly from Google, it means on directories, review sites, and other sources it can access to show local businesses. So by getting listed and optimized in the right places, you're not just helping your Google presence, you're also getting ahead of the game with AI-driven search. This might feel small now, but it's one of those moves that will pay off big time very soon. Next, your competitors' business profiles. All right, so once you start doing your competitive research for your city, one of the first things you'll notice is a map pack, that little box at the top of the search results 
with three businesses listed. These are the MVPs according to Google, the top dogs, the ones Google thinks are the most relevant for the keywords you're trying to rank for. Quick tip before you dive in, make sure you include your city name or your target area in your keyword when you're searching, so the results you get actually reflect what people are searching for. Now, those three businesses in the map pack, these are your real competition, the ones you want to spy on. So let's do a little digital detective work. Start by clicking through their Google business listings and take note of a few key things. What categories are they using? Are they using any that you're not? Because categories play a big role in how Google ranks you. Do they have keywords in their business name that you don't? That can make a big difference. And if they do, ask yourself, could you adjust your name slightly to include a keyword without breaking Google's rules? What's their cover photo like? Is it eye-catching? Does it clearly show what they do? If yours look like it was taken with a potato, might be time for an upgrade. Keep digging. Have they added services with full descriptions and pricing? Are they using Google Posts regularly? And if so, what kind? Promotions, tips, updates. How often are they adding photos? FYI, Google says businesses with photos get 42% more requests for directions and 35% more website clicks. That's not small. Now check out their reviews. How many do they have? What's their average rating? Are they getting new reviews consistently? How many of those reviews include photos? A few more things to watch. Are they open longer hours than you? Have they linked their social media accounts to their listing? And what page on their website is their listing pointing to? Is that page optimized? Is the content strong? Now you can go through all this manually, but if you want a shortcut, check out a free Chrome extension called GMB Everywhere. It's a freemium tool that lets you peek under the hood of any Google business profile, see what categories they use, their Google review history, keyword usage, and a bunch more. Plus, they give you five free audits a month, which is plenty to snoop on your top competitors. I've put a link to it in the description below. Bottom line, your goal is to at least match what your top competitors are doing. Ideally, do it even better. So Google sees you as a serious contender for that top three spot in a map pack. Once you've handled their listings, it's time to keep the detective work going and take a good hard look at their website. Getting your Google business profile into the top three of the map pack? Yeah, that's a big win, no doubt about it. But here's the thing, that's only half the battle. A recent study from Red Local showed that about 44% of people click on those map pack listings. Great, right? But get this, another 29% goes straight to the regular organic results. You know, the good old fashioned website links underneath the map. So if you really want to maximize your visibility and attract as many local clients as possible, your website needs to show up there too, and not just anywhere, but ideally right near the top. And just like we snooped on the top Google business profiles, you're gonna want to do the same with the top ranking websites. See what they're doing that you're not. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The businesses ranking at the top of the organic results might not be the same ones in the map pack. Google treats websites and Google business profiles differently, which means you've got to optimize for both if you want full coverage. So once again, we go into detective mode. Look at the top three websites showing up for your target keyword in your area, because if you want to compete and win, you've got to aim for that top three spot here too. Let's break down exactly how to do that, looking first at some of the basics. All right, so now that you've found the top ranking website for your local keywords, click through to the first one, but make sure it's an actual small business, not some giant brand or directory. In most cases, you'll land on their homepage, which is usually their most important page, and the same one they've linked to from their Google business profile. Now let's break down what they're doing and how your site stacks up. Start with a page title. That's the bit you see in the browser tab. Does it include a service or product keyword and the city name? And is that info right up front? It should be because this plays a big role in how Google ranks the page. Next, check out their headings. Are they using the city name and variations of their main keywords throughout the page? Is there a clear structure like H1s, H2s, H3s with proper titles that actually make sense. Then look at the content itself. Do they show photos of the team or their actual work? Have they added unique selling points? Do they list their services with links to dedicated service pages? Are there customer reviews right on the page? Any awards, case studies or social proof? Is there 
business address listed? What about opening hours? Do they have a Google map embedded? Look for anything they've included that you haven't and start adding those same kinds of elements to your own page. Basically, you're playing a game of spot the difference. And remember, this isn't just for your homepage. You can repeat this exact strategy for any page on your site and any keyword you want to rank for. Whether it's your service pages, product pages, or even location-specific landing pages, it works the same way. And the truth is, none of these top ranking sites are doing everything perfectly. But if you take the best parts from each one and combine them on your own site, you give yourself a solid shot at climbing the ranks and staying there. All right, so once you've got your website content dialed in, the next step is to build up your business authority. And one of the best ways to do that is by getting other websites to link to yours but not just any websites. We're talking about local ones. These kinds of links are little gold stars in Google's eyes. The more quality local links you get, the more Google thinks, okay, this business is legit. Let's bump them up in the rankings. So where do you get these magical links from? Think local bloggers, your city's chamber of commerce, local newspapers, or other businesses you've partnered with. These are the people and sites that can give you that credibility boost. They act like online votes of confidence. Every time someone links to your site, it's like they're telling Google, hey, this business matters, and trust me, Google listens. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, cool, but how the heck do I get those links? No worries. You can literally spy on your competitors again and see exactly where they got their links from and go get those same ones for yourself. One of the easiest ways to do this is by using a tool like ACMrush. They've got a seven day free trial so you can sign up, check out where your competitors are getting their backlinks, download that list and start working on getting those same links pointing to your site. And pro tip, if you cancel the trial before it ends, you won't get charged. So it's totally free to give your site a serious authority boost. I've put a link to it in the description below. So to wrap it all up, if you want to rank number one in your city and get discovered by way more local customers, it's not about guessing. It's about spying smart. And if you want to go beyond just a handful of keywords and start dominating results across your whole city, this next video is a must watch. I'll walk you through how to make it happen step by step.